really prevalent and on the rise in schools. And we've even had youth come to us and say, it's inevitable that we will try these products. They didn't even know that they were being manipulated. They didn't know that there's these harmful ingredients in these products. And they didn't even know that really the tobacco industry is shaping their behavior. It's like always advertised on any social media, like you always see it or influencers that you'd watch that like people would think it's all right to do just because other people are doing it. Yeah, I know a lot of people that um, vape and I vape as well. A lot of people in the school do. But when you go to the bathroom, there's like four people in the corner and they're all vaping. And then you go upstairs and then they're all doing it in that bathroom. When you leave school, it's not so much that. So I find it's mostly in school. It makes me feel upset just thinking about all those people who are doing that stuff and then not thinking about the health consequences. It's concerning to see young people doing it. Raising awareness for it will help those people not be so ashamed and embarrassed about it and they'll want to reach out for help. Administrators have done that. They've spoken out and said that help is needed for this cause. School should be warm, safe and welcoming for students of all ages and when that isn't happening, that can be problematic for students to have that feeling. The Stomp Project's so important because it's a student-led program. They take responsibility and ownership of it and they really want to educate others about problems that can occur from using tobacco and vaping. They're here five days a week, and if they see an issue or a challenge, such as vaping or e-cigarettes or substance use, finding ways to hear from them to help create that change and change that culture is, is really important. You really want to make sure that you're getting information from them and making sure that they're part of the solution. It's not really fair to like expect them to go through change and stuff unless you're working with them as well. Give them a voice, because their voice is going to change the world. There's a lot we can do. For one, we're doing anti-vaping week soon at this school. And we also made some videos talking about how vaping and smoking can really affect you. And we've made posters to put up around the school to spread awareness to our school. I'm a very idealistic person. I think STOMP really gives me the kind of opportunities to give my advice. I actually am really glad I joined because it puts me in a role of leadership to help like the younger kids from getting addicted to it. STOMP, this program, is an excellent one that we hope can be offered in more schools in the future. I think other schools could follow along and do stuff to prevent vaping and encourage them to learn about it. We're here to help you and we're not here to judge you. Start a STOMP program. I think it's fabulous. The students get involved. They take leadership and ownership of the program. They encourage others not to use substances and everyone is encouraged to make healthy decisions that carry over into a healthy life. I just want all my friends to stop vaping and smoking because I just want the best for them and I just want them to have a healthier life. Reach out for help and I assure you, you won't regret it later.